in this video i am going to make a 10 mm bolt and nut and then we will animate it so let's dive into it i'll open a brand new document go to front plane and sketch i'll sketch polygon let's give it a relation horizontal size for size I will have to check with the standards this is a maximum size 17 17 millimeter extrude it up to again the size K K is 6.69 6.69 millimeter 6 6.69 mm okay and then I'll extrude boss a sketch like this give it a dimension 10 mm and extrude it up to 40 mm like so I will sketch on this plane this face and convert it then I will go to helix and spiral I will take height and pitch height will be 25 mm pitch will be 1.5 uh, degree starting star degree is 0 degree because it will match with our top lane and reverse direction 1.5 pitch you can see here pitch is 1.5 millimeter ok click ok and on the top plane normal to I will sketch a polygon excuse me sorry polygon three sides give it a vertical relation give it a size 1.2 millimeter and for fully defined I'll now I will exit the sketch and swift cut the sketch is already taken profile is already taken now the path for the path this is how the thread is made but we need a chamfer here so I will do one millimeter chamfer and then roll back here we have a problem this is not a, in the real world the thread cannot abruptly stop here so we have to make it a little little realistic convert entities put a point on the mid plane mid, mid mid point of this line and then
plane front plane and give us this point parallel click a green tick ok now on this plane I will sketch normal tool I will sketch a three point arc just like that exit sketch swept cut and profile is this it is not looking better so I will make the little changes in it normal to now it is better this is a little bit realistic height plane and we will put a chamfer over here normal to draw a circle tangent to this line this face extruded cut flip side to cut no matter what is this is it can be 10 it can be 5 anything but important thing is 60 millimeter degree 60 degree radius is sorry 60 degree cutting angle so here we are now I will put a circle here make it 15 millimeter extruded cut cut 0.5 flip side to cut ok so this is our bolt give it a plain carbon steel now we will make a bolt nut sorry we'll save this first m10 bolt save yes now I will delete all this from here to here yes to all yes to all I will increase a little thickness 8 mm draw a sketch let's do it let's just customize it sketch auto rotate exit on this plane now it is auto rotate for 10 millimeter we need 8.5 millimeter hole for tap extruded cut through all ok sketch on this plane convert entities features helix and spirals everything is here only we can change this one up to 10 mm is enough on the top plane I will draw a polygon three side polygon 
like this polygon give it just some relations and dimension 1.2 it's okay now pierce this with this pierce this no sketch is fully defined exit sketch swept cut profile is already taken all we need to do is to take the path and our thread is complete but we need chamfer on this bore one millimeter chamfer is enough now we need chamfer on this this side but first we go and make it mid plane so it will help us mirror on this I will draw a sketch tangent to this sixty degree ten mm flip side to cut like this like so take this front plane mirror okay so nut is complete let's save the file let's save as m10 nut assembly now we will browse for m10 bolt m10 bolt is here if we want to put it in on the origin we just have to click ok here and it will automatically goes to center of this document I will give some mates here and then advance my mechanical mate screw mate pick this and pick this one this one distance revolution 1.5 which is our pitch and ok that this will move accordingly now we will go to motion study <coughs> put a motor motor select face reverse direction and ok that this is good it's better 
I like it. I am happy with that. I hope you like it.